Hello. Pranam Ja. Good afternoon. Yeah, the teen shark come right. Do you want to speak Welsh? Anyway, right, this isn't a Welsh lesson. Forgive me for the mess the camera, but I'm outside. Right. There's a famous scripture that I am now going to read because this is in the context in the context of what I'm about to speak about, right? So in Psalm 23, got my Bible by here. It's quite a windy as well because I'm outside in the woods. Well, go for path, right? That's right. Psalm 23. Psalm 23, six verses, so it's the whole chapter. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For this, sorry, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, they I, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That was Psalm 23. Right, hang on, let me just put my Bible away now. In my bag, in my man bag, and I'll get this done, okay? Right, you get in there. Right. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I, I read that, right, was because the other day, I can't remember the exact day, but it was recent. Very, very recent, right? A, a labour councillor of a, of a, of a Dartford, which is a town in Kent in East England, right? By the name of Ricky Jones, enticed hatred and violence right when he dared to say let me let let's let those people let these people go past um, right let me just talk about what he said right so anyway okay look this is what he said right he's with a group of people right protesters who are against patriotism basically right but they but they're called the far right so he's either with antifa or the other organization hope and not hate right but yet he's doing the opposite it's so I ironic because he because what he says is enticing hatred, violence and homicide, because this is what he says. Those on, those on the far right, we need to slice their throats or cut their throats and get rid of the, the, them. He actually said that. Now, if this isn't treated as a hate crime, then that really does sum up the law then, doesn't it? And it really sums up that it is a two-tier police state and it is one law for them and one law for us. Now, could you imagine if someone like... Um, okay, I'm going to have hard myself. Right, so anyway, okay, so, right. So he said that, right? He said, we need to cut their throats and get... 
uh, and get rid of them. Not only is that enticing hatred and violence, that is enticing and advocating a murder. I mean, what do you think happens to a person w when you cut their throats? Somehow, you know, if you cut someone's throat, their chances of surviving is going to be very slim to say the least. But since then, f fair play though, he has been suspended and arrested and rightly so. But how long did that take? I mean, could you imagine if someone like Tony, uh, like Tommy Robertson said th that, right? He would be absolutely, v v he'd be absolutely um, um, vilified and demonized and it would be in the uh, news 24 seven. They would not give him a break or give him any rest. And rightly so. You know, it's a two. It is a two tier police state. But as I said, Ricky Jones has been suspended and arrested. But he should now be more than suspended. He should be sacked. That's right. I. I, I just remember something as well when he said that hateful quote right to his um to to his uh, m m m m m minions in the hope and not hate to to the hope not hate rally right when he said we we need to cut their throats did the crowd then boo him and give him grief and tell him and 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 say things to him that oh you should have said that because i was not no they were all clapping and smiling and that and these are a group this is an organization that says that they don't hate people and yet they have a speaker in the in their group enticing hatred when you tell when you say to a group of people right when you say to a group of people who don't have the same opinions as you to cut someone's throat to cut their throats you can't get any more hatred than that that is a threat but will he be expelled will he be sacked i hope so but if he if he if he doesn't well then again that sums up the the law then doesn't it but i tell you and now R ricky jones if you had any ounce of dignity left, you would resign. And you would make a full apology to the English pa patriots who, who just love their country and who just love England. Now there's a good name for an organisation. Isn't it? Just love England. Where you have hope and not hate, unless you don't agree with what they agree, then they just want to have your throats cut. But anyway, no, then you can have just love England. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Please comment, please subs subscribe, and please don't hesitate to hit that like a, a button. And to my to my brothers and sisters in Christ, if I do not get to see you in this lifetime, I shall see you all in, in our Father's kingdom. Thank you all and God bless you all in Jesus' precious name. Amen.